our champion, Dan Lasko of Dorchester, Massachusetts, faces the challenge of Don Richmond of Holbrook, Massachusetts, on Cattleton Bowling. Hi, everybody. Welcome once again to Cattleton Bowling. I'm Don Gillis, and I'm here to remind you again, this program is on videotape. We do our taping sometimes several weeks before you actually see the telecast, and we do it here at the Fairway in Natick, Massachusetts. It's always three strings of Cantlepin Bowling, and it is total pinfall which will determine our winner. He's rewarded with a handsome trophy from the Ace Trophy Company of Boston. The runner-up receives a smaller but otherwise identical version to indicate he participated in our program. We have guaranteed prize money of $1,150. $700 will go to the winner, $300 to the runner-up, $50 available to the winner of each string, and obviously should they tie, then it would be split $25 apiece. This certificate is for a $50 gift certificate from True Value Hardware Stores and Home Centers. That goes to our marksman of the day. He'll be the man who will have the most marks. We have some tiebreakers, which I can tell you about if we get into that kind of a situation. There are other opportunities for our bowlers to make money. I'll tell you about that as we continue, but right now, let's meet today's bowlers, shall we? First of all, let's talk to Don Richmond here, whom I haven't seen for, what, about a little over a year? A little so? bit over a year, yeah. And uh, you had a pretty good streak there uh, about uh, two years ago. Yeah. Yeah, very <laughs> nice streak. Yeah, you enjoyed yeah. staying on here. Yes. This, this guy over here is about to do the same thing, I think. Yeah, yeah. four in a row is good. Yeah. Yeah. Nice feeling, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll good. say. Uh, and uh, uh, since I saw you last, I guess you were on, on one of those uh, international teams, huh? Yes. That bowled, uh, up yes. in, uh, uh, Maine. Maine against the yeah. Canadian team? Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Who was with you? Uh, uh, Billy Trapel, uh, Jack Sanick, uh, Mike Morrow, uh, Al Wiencic. Uh, Jimmy Putney. <laughs> oh, boy, you almost forgot Jimmy. You would have been in trouble. Uh, now they're crash. all your buddies again. Huh? Okay. You haven't participated in that as yet, have no, you? No, no, no. Would I you didn't... like to? Yeah, that would be nice. Well, get together some guys yeah. from Lucky Strike or whatever. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Good luck to both of you. It Thanks. should be a good match. And it only proves you roll 400 three weeks, and then you don't even roll your average, and you still win, huh? Yeah. Okay, you're on a streak. All yeah. right. Don's going to try to stop that. Good luck to both of you. Yeah. We'll get underway right after this. Here's our challenger on the line, Don Richmond of Holbrook, Massachusetts, with a league average of 122. Three and six on the right, four and seven on the left. Wood between the three and six. Is he going to get it? Oh, amazing. That piece of wood curled all the way around the six, but would not knock it down. Actually, it probably kept it from falling. To 10. Don has a high single of 199, a high triple of 510. How about that? He had a 673 in winning his roll off. He has one pin less than the spread eagle, the 10 pin drop. Don is married. His wife, Debbie, is here today to root for him along with his dad. The nine box. Now here is our defending champion, Dan Lasko of Dorchester. League average, 120. High single, 192. High triple, 486. And he begins with a half Worcester right. still standing and he gets two more of them so it's a seven box is he going to get for a moment it appeared he might get a strike but he has an excellent shot obviously at a spare with the four and seven and all favorable wood in front of it. Oh, he 
can't believe it. He can't believe it. Neither can we. The seven went, but not the four. And the wood was right in front of the four. So it becomes a ten box. Don Richmond. A couple of his teammates on that international team are here today, Billy Trefill and Mike Morrow. All except one pin, the three pin. Piece of wood comes way down here, and our lob line judge and referee, Ralph Stewart, comes up quickly to get it. And the applause is for Ralph. All right, one pin, the three pin, four, a spear. There it is. Don Richmond works as a technician at Polaroid Corporation in Cambridge at Tech Square. He's representing the Hanover Bolodrome and the Wright Brothers in Holbrook. Too full on the head pin. He gets just five. Two, four, seven, three, six. Got two more. It's an eight box. Defending champion, Dan Lasko. Five, seven, and eight. Wood across the five and seven and nine. I should have said seven and nine. Excuse me, it was a five and nine there. Got just the five. So Dan's still looking for his first mark after three. 1325 in our high low jackpot, 450 in our home viewer jackpot. That's where we ask you folks to write in on a postcard what you think. The total pinfall would be both bowlers combined on a day that you hope that your card is chosen. Postcards only. One card per person per day. That's the maximum that we allow. And all the cards are thrown away after somebody wins. We keep adding $50 to the jackpot weekly until somebody does hit it. And then we start all over again at 50. Going for a spare. Oh, he did not get it, and Dan can't believe that. He had two pins together for a spare. Now, to win, a person must guess the total pinfall with a 10-pin range, either high or low. We give you 10 either side. Say the total happens to be 722, then it would be anywhere from 712 to 732. All right, at the end of four right now, it is Don Richmond, 42, and Dan Lasko, 36. Don Richmond on the line. Three pins on the right, two on the left. He has the three, six, ten on the right, the four, and seven on the left. He got those three on the right and flew that number three pin over, but just missed the four, seven. It's a 10. Now, when I was talking about the home viewer, I'll tell you, just complete it quickly, that even if you're nowhere near what the actual total is, there will be several prizes you'll receive just for having your card chosen. Almost a spread eagle. One pin less than a spread eagle. And I'll give you the address in a moment. No spare, okay. Please send your cards to Candlepin Bowling, WCBB TV, 5 TV Place, Needham, Massachusetts, zip code number 02192. It's an eight box. Dan 
Lesko. Is he going to have a strike? Oh, all except one. Six pin did not go. There it is. And a spare. He gets six, but he has a tough one to convert because the five pin becomes the object pin, and then across the back he has seven, nine, and ten. One piece of wood over on the right near the ten. That's about all you could expect is to get that five and nine. coming across after he got the 10, but it does not hit the sub. Here he goes. Strike! Strike for Don Richmond, and he waits for the pins to be reset here on lane two. First bonus ball. Three marks in a row. Any combination of strikes or spares will establish a bonus of $50. Then each subsequent consecutive mark on that same string would be worth $50 a piece as long as he can keep it going. And for three strikes in a row, there is an additional bonus of $1,000. For a spare, yes. Two marks in a row. <laughs> Don being teased a little by some of the people who were here supporting him because of the fact that uh, he just did get that spare. I mean, just. Dan Lasko. Dan has a spare leave on the left-hand side with the 247. Yes. Well done. Very crisp. Six. That's the fill. Two, four, five, and seven. The five pin would not go. It's a ten. Now a chance for $50 in bonus money for Don Richmond as he has two arcs in a row. A strike and a spare, and this will be the fill on the spare. It's a strike, $50 in bonus money for Don Richmond. bonus ball. Oh, is he going to have, oh, so close to having another strike. One pin to pick up the six pin with wood in front of it and in back of it. There it goes, and he's up to $100 in bonus money. And it's still alive. It's a spare, so he has one more ball to throw. He's at 130 right now, plus what he gets on the next one. Good chance, obviously, of winning another $50 for winning the first string. We'll have to wait to see what Dan Lasko does, but he'll have to do a lot of work because he was already 13 pins down. 
before Don added the strike and the strike. Boy, this is tough because he has the parallel pins four and five, and then across the back, the seven, eight, ten. Nice shot, but there are still two pins there. And not. One, three, six. Those are the three pins. Made it. One, oh, six, plus what he rolls on the next. Three. 109. And the score after one. Our challenger, Don Richmond from Holbrook, Massachusetts. 137. Our defending champion, Dan Lasco of Dorchester, 109. Early one afternoon. Where's Lou? At least Dan Lasco of Dorchester. Too far to the left. One, three, seven, and eight. Wood right between the one and the three. Nope, just the three. It's an eight box. a big hit everything except the 10 single pin to pick up now for a spare yes he has it Don Richmond Don will put together four marks in a row at the end of the first string. Spare leave on the right side. Three, six, ten. the three. It's a ten. on the head pin and he leaves on the left 4 7 on the right 6 10 wood between the 4 and the 7 wood in front of the 6 and 10 now if that wood stops and then he delivers and it starts to roll again it's perfectly legal because when he was delivering the ball it had stopped That happened a few weeks ago, and we had some inquiries about it, but it's very clearly a part of the Candlepin rules.
Dan Lasko coming up, and remember, he's working on a spare. And he's too full on the head pin and has almost a spread eagle. But it's five on his spare. Two more pins for a 10. He made it. In the candle pin bowling rules and regulations, rule number 12 is about moving wood. I should read to you, I guess. A bowler must wait until all wood is halted motion under penalty of foul, which means that any pin spelled by the ball shall not count. However, if the wood has apparently stopped rolling, then starts rolling again while the player is in the act of delivering the ball or while the ball is in motion, strike! There will be no penalty, okay? That's rule 12. Now Don Richmond. Spread eagle. Too full on the head pin. That's one of the most frustrating hits of all because you come right in on the head pin, you punch out one, five, eight, and nine. You've got the right side. It's a nine box. Don Richmond is opposite a strike by Dan Lasko. Let's see what he can do. He has a spare lead. The three and the six. the three pin. All right, we're going to pause once again and take a check on that scoreboard as we do after four boxes in the first string and four in the second. Right now, it is Dan Lasko at 43 with a bonus ball to roll to Don Richmond's 39. Our defending champion, Dan Lasko, working on a strike. Strike in the fourth. This is the first bonus ball. Seven and a spare leave. Six, nine, and ten. He has it, two marks in a row. And a strike on top of that, $50 in bonus money. Don Richmond on the line. There he is. Almost another spread eagle. in control of his emotions. Now he has the three and the six on the right, the seven alone on the left, and a couple of pieces of wood, one of which might be helpful. It's not quite at the angle he'd like it to be. Nope, it flew. The seven pin is still there.
He took it for a 10. All right, three marks in a row now for Dan Lasko as he comes up. So close to two strikes in a row, all but one pin. However, this pin, should he pick it up, is worth another $50 in bonus money. Yes. He has $100 in bonus money and an excellent string going right now. he'll be working on the diamond. He has a little piece of wood in there that may help a little bit. This for another mark. He made it! And he made the diamond, too. Five marks in a row. $150 in bonus money. Don Richmond, our challenger. One, three, six, seven, and eight. Oh, great try. Everything except the seven. Don's been pinned well. He's knocked down every pin except one. But he hasn't been getting marks. He has the seven pin to work on. And that's it, through seven boxes, he's uh, knocked down everything except one pin in the second, excuse me, the third, where he had a nine box. No wood to help here, and possible mark, two, four, five, seven. Nope, the five didn't go. And that kind of surprised him. Dan Lasko has got quite a streak going here now. Five marks in a row. And of course the lead in the match. In that streak. Another big hit, a nine drop, and the seven pin to pick up for six marks in a row. Oh, just missed it, just missed it. There it is. He's at 138. After a disappointing, for him, 109 to begin. the middle. Two, four, seven, three, and six. Those are the pins. Nice shot as he got the left side. One forty-eight. Excellent string. One forty-eight. Now, Don Richmond, who was leading by 28 pins after one. He has the same spare leave he had in the eighth box where he did not get the five pin. Now he doesn't get the seven pin. He played the right side of the two pin this time Left side the last time. Another 10, 88. In 
danger of not breaking 100 and yet bowling very well. That may not seem it to you if you look at the score, but all you have to do is look at the boxes. In only two boxes has he failed to knock down all the pins. And so he does not get a mark. And yet, no one could say he was not bowling well. He's picking up single pins. But he is just, when you're in a hot streak and you, and you roll down there, those pins scatter. Just as he had the four marks in a row ending the first string as he went strike, spare, strike, spare. And he can look at that, but he knows himself. And he will not let that bother him, I'm sure. I mean, it somewhat psychologically bothers you, but he also knows that he was bowling well. Okay, at the end of two, Dan Lasko, our defending champion, 257. And our challenger today, Don Richmond, 235. Don Richmond on the line. Here's a triangle, and this can be deceptive. We know that. It's the 245. And that's why. You can get two of them so often, but one won't go. And it looks so easy. Don turned uh, during the break towards Don Riley, who, of course, is our statistician and coordinator and said, shook his head and said, I didn't break 100, and he said, I hit the head pin nine out of 10 times, and that's exactly what he did. All right, one pin to pick up, the seven pin, right now. And he has it, right on the nose. Dan Lasko. Our defending champion has himself a five and tenner, but he's got some wood around the ten and to the left of the five. Going for that five. The wood to the left of it, and uh, he hit the wood and did not get to the five. Dan picked up. That's a nine box. He picked up $200 in that uh, middle string for five marks in a row, plus winning the string. All right, one pin to pick up as another drops. It'll be the two pin for a spare. Yes, he made it. Now, Don Richmond. He put together four marks in a row at the end of the first string. Also won the first string for uh, $150 in bonus money. And I've already told you about Dan Lasko. That's a tough break. He gets a seven, but he winds up with the four and five side by side, plus the seven pin. tried the sidewall action, kicking the four against the sidewall while taking out the seven, hoping that it would come back and get the five, but he has to settle for a ten. Now the one and two for a spare, if he can make it. Don's first appearance on our show was back in 1980. Spare. <laughs> Defending champion Dan Lasko of Dorchester, Massachusetts.
bonus ball. He has seven, and uh, with a triangle over here on the right, that might be difficult, except that he has wood right in, uh, alongside the six pin and the nine pin. And he used it, so he has two in a row. Now a chance for more bonus money with two marks in a row. Five this time and no wood. One, three, six, four, and seven. Everything except the four. So he did not get the bonus money for three marks in a row. Dan is a four time winner. This is his fifth week. Don Richmond working on a spare. Seven. The one, the two, and the four. He's trying for a spare and two full. Ten. Don was unsuccessful in his first four tries on our show. That is, he came on as a challenger and was unable to defeat the then reigning champion. And they were, in chronological order, John Stella in 1980, Sil DeRico in 81, Hugh Ferguson in 82, Tim Lipke in 84. But then in 85, he had himself a string. Oh, what a beauty! Oh, take another look at that one. That was a beauty. He was on for six weeks in 1985. All right, here now is Dan Lasco. He came very close to a strike, got everything except the six pin. A 22 pin bulge coming into this third string after an excellent 148 middle string. Six pin for a spare. Yes. Big nine. Twenty eight pins. And another mark. So Don Richmond will really have to do something in his final four boxes if he's to, to try to overcome, because Dan Lasko is not giving him a chance, not opening the door. Eight is the fill, and he has two to pick up. The four and the eight. All right, he has another mark. Seven ten split. Eight is the fill. Three pieces of wood over on the right against the uh, ten pin, and that's what he'll work on, hoping he can spin something over to get the seven. Boy, he tried, but it didn't work. Nine. All right, Dan Lasko trying again for three marks in a row. 
He had two in the second and third, and now he has two more in the fifth and sixth. Big, big hit. Nine more. And there is a piece of wood which has very definitely come out here past the Deadwood line. Ralph Stewart, our lob line judge and referee, takes it away. Yes! Another, and Janie Cartier up on the big board marks uh, another spare for him. Keith Williams was keeping score beside me, does it? I've already mentioned Don Riley, and of course, Phil Rubin is our producer, director, always. Here we go, three marks in a row, and uh, is he going to get any more? Well, it's going to be tough to do because he has two pins on the left, the, the uh, four and seven, and on the right, the three, six, and ten. But that wood in front of the four and seven make those two pins a little more vulnerable. However, he had to kick something over there to touch it. $50 more in bonus money. Now Don Richmond with his final two. he wanted there was a strike. He doesn't even have a, a good spare leave. Three, six, four, seven, and eight. A 10, 119. And of course, Dan Lasko has a big lead. He already had a 22-pin lead coming in for this third, and he is leading in the third string. To spare, 129. Five more. Three sixty nine. Dan Lasco. in a row for Dan Lasco. Let's see what the total will be. He made another mark. So he's up to 124. Extra bonus of $100 for going over 400. He needs a 143. And he has a strike on top of it. He's up to 144. Oh, he did it. Over 400. 401 right now. Another $100 in bonus money. That's the first bonus ball. Now, should he knock down these four pins, it would be another $50 in bonus money. Five wins, and in four of those weeks, he has gone over 400. 410. Another 400. An amazing performance. We'll be back again with the high-low jackpot worth $1,325 and the home viewer worth $450. After I give you again the final, Dan Lasko, $410, Don Richmond, $369. $779 is the magic number, and if a person uh, whose card I draw is anywhere within 10 either side of that, 
they will win $450, but they're not going to go away unrewarded because these prizes will also go their way. A Barbasol gift set of men's toiletries, including shave cream and glide stick deodorant. Barbasol shave cream has lather as thick and rich as other leading foams, but can cost only half as much. And Stetson Cologne, easy to wear, hard to resist, to a man the most comfortable fragrance, to a woman the most compelling. And two cassette tapes from RCA Records. First, the latest album from America's favorite singer, Kenny Rogers. They don't make them like they used to. And from Samantha Fox, her latest album, Touch Me. All right, anywhere from $769 to $789 wins $450. Let's dig way over here in the corner somewhere and see what we can find out, see whether we're going to have a winner or not. Okay, this one is uh, Andrew of Lowell, Massachusetts, and his guess is... 781. Yes, we do have a winner. And we'll start all over again at 450 and we'll empty out this drum. All right, now $1,325 down there in the high low. Okay, Danny, this is your fifth try at this now. <laughs> Don, it wouldn't be a bad consolation prize. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, guys, stay stay here and come up here. Danny, please. Okay, uh, let's see. Mm, I have to look to see which is the... They're almost the same size. But anyway, you get the smaller trophy, as you know. Yeah, uh, no sure streak. <laughs> you do, yeah, no streak this time. I went through uh, this quite a few uh, times, you know, coming yeah. up the runner-up. <laughs> yes, but you also yeah, had a streak of the big Just as many times as I've won it, too, you know, but, uh, oh, well. Oh, One well, of those right. days, that second string, you know, right. I think I hit the hip in too much. <laughs> I guess you did, I yeah. thought that was the object of the game. <laughs> Donnie, you have $300 plus another $150, and uh, yep. come back and see us again, will you? And I'll from Mr. Try. Lasko here, Five in a row. Holy mackerel. You have in bonus money, if I have $400 in bonus money, plus $700 for winning, plus the big trophy from the Ace Trophy Company. And as your reward, you get the 1986 uh, Massachusetts singles champion, Steve Reno, as your challenger next week. Okay, it should be a good match. Join us then. Don Gillis for the whole crew. Bye-bye, everybody.